My name is Moshe Jacobs, and I live in Jerusalem and in the Frat. It started a, a year and a half ago when I was sitting with a few friends, and we came up with the idea that maybe we can start groups of religious Jews studying rabbinics and yeshivas with uh, religious Muslims. We thought that maybe if we bring radical ideas together, so there would be an opportunity of understanding. Usually, we're only allowed to speak to one another in Western terms. And as we're all religious, so suddenly, maybe we'll be able to open up a whole new set of uh, understandings and meanings which wouldn't have occurred to us beforehand. Um, we went forward and we met people who brought us together with Palestinians, and that way we started uh, our group of uh, religious uh, rabbinical students who met with uh, religious Palestinians from uh, Hebron. Um, we started getting together once a month and it was uh, very successful and each meeting uh, was opening up new stuff and relationships we were being beginning to be built. And uh, we thought through that uh, maybe let's build more groups. Uh, let's take more schools of rabbinics, the yeshivas, and bring them together with more religious Palestinians. And we started that idea and it worked and it was uh, working like a bit of a snowball. Um, as time went on, so more and more journalists were showing interest and were wanted to show the story to other people. We also had an interest that other people should know what's going on. We thought that we had an idea which could uh, possibly make change, possibly make an impact. We agreed for a big uh, Israeli uh, internet site of journalists to do a short documentary mil uh, movie. Uh, and it was on Ynet, uh, and Ynet uh, showed it around, and it also ran on Facebook, and it was fairly successful. And I, as part of the Israeli side, I was uh, happy to see all the uh, amazing feedbacks, and everyone was saying how amazing it is, and we were seeing in a, in a few days tens of people saying that they want to start up new groups and meetings between Jews and Palestinians, that they want to lead this group, and they've got this idea, and they've got that idea. And the talkbacks on the internet were amazing. Uh, and everyone was very happy about it and it was incredibly delightful for us. The days afterwards, I was trying to call my friend Matasim, the guy from Hebron who arranges a group with me, uh, but he wasn't answering the phone. I um, tried again and again, but no one was answering. And a teacher of mine who's the head of the uh, Interfaith uh, Encounter Association um, called me up and he said that the reason why he's not answering my phone is because he's had to go into hiding. Um, because as the, the movie ran in, uh, on Facebook on the Israeli side, it also ran on the Palestinian side. But on the Palestinian side, it, was, it wasn't looked up on to be as, as such a successful and happy thing. And, um, and Matasim had to go into hiding and he couldn't speak and he couldn't answer the phone and he couldn't answer mails. Uh, and I haven't been in touch with him since. But the idea of bringing radicalists together and respecting radicalists as radicalists and not turning them into left wings, not making them speak in Western language, had something uh, very interesting and new about it and people wanted to speak about it. But then it was all put underground because of the threatening of the life of Matasim and his family. The meetings uh, stopped and uh, another group of meetings stopped and uh, more and more meetings were being cancelled and the movement between uh, Jews and Palestinians in and out of Hebron was changed and it was... Uh, it was a few day, there were a few days in which uh, people were trying to get in and out of the area, couldn't because there was a lot of tension. All this left me feeling very alone and uh, the fact that I had a, we had a dream, I had a dream and that uh, we thought we were moving forward and making something happen and it was just cut off and um, I found it very frustrating and that uh, I felt that I wanted to bring uh, those people, those people who are threatening with Mosasim, um, to speak with me. I'd be very happy to meet them, to speak with them from that very radicalist place. 
for them to respect me as a radicalist and I to respect them. Not necessarily respect of being nice, but awareness. Awareness of the other, not to demonize him. Uh, this is my request.